eat all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warmer 5000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to painting guide number 36. Today I'm gonna do Death Guard Death Shroud, the 40k variants. So we can go into detail and check out the models and how they look like. This is recorded on the 20th of June 2018. So these are some beautiful models. Uh, uh, out, out of the new range for the Death Guard, these were the ones that I liked the most. And I, this is actually how, how I envisioned that the Death Shroud should look like, even in the uh, 30k time era, only with less nurgling taking possession of their bodies and armor, looking less swollen, but this bulky walking around with their scythes ready to cut down people and such. So the, the Forge World variant is actually looking quite pale and boring in comparison, but yeah, I think they work, they work out fine. Yeah, so, so these models look mighty fine. What I recommend that you first start out is to paint this armor white. Either you spray that or you can use ceramite white to paint, paint on it. Then you're gonna uh, paint up the metallics. And for that we're gonna use lead belcher. Then we're gonna be painting up the shoulder pads uh, for these ones. And for that we're gonna be using Castellan Green. I'm going for the little bit darker look. Then uh, for certain bandages and bones sticking out from their bodies, we're going to be using Ushapti Bone. And for any type of tentacles, I would recommend that you use Flayed on Flesh. Then uh, for certain areas where it might be needed, I would recommend that you, like for instance, if you look at this one, it has some certain bells. Uh, that it's uh, Nurgle Bells. For those we're gonna be using Balthazar Gold. Unfortunately I don't have the full bottle, uh, this was for my starter kit. Then uh, for where, wherever it's needed I recommend that you use Abaddon Black. Then for these they also have some uh, cloaks either that's uh, covering their faces or down below or on the back. For there I would recommend that you use Scream and Pink. So you have some color that distinguishes itself from the green and the white, which it will be covered in. So now in a quick conclusion on what we knew, what we're gonna do for the next step is ceramite white on the armor, lead belcher for the metallics, castellan green for the shoulder pads, we shaped the bone for bone sticking out from its armor, protruding from its armor, or bandages where it could be needed, flayed on flesh for tentacles, Balthazar gold on the bells, Abaddon black for where it's needed, and then Screamer pink for the, for the cloaks. Now you know what we need to do for the next step to see you in the next step everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today is the 27th of July 2018 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. So what I can admit right away is that there are of course a couple of places which I've missed to paint entirely as I wanted to. Like for instance where it should be metal or... yeah. And. I just have to say that just today, as you might have seen in previous painting guide, is that I am very stressed out. I just, I just want to get this through, get this over with, and I think under other circumstances, if I, these models were actually mine and I did them in small parts instead of completely assembled, I think it would have turned out way better. And I really apologize for those watching these videos that, yeah, this part of the painting guide or this entire painting guide is not up to standards uh, uh, unlike many of my other painting guides. 
Either way, so what we're gonna do for these ones is we're gonna paint up the cables that's protruding uh, everywhere around them. And for that we're gonna be using Moot Green. We're also gonna paint that for the wings of the flies that swarm swarms around them on top of their yeah, on top of them. Then for from for the bones that's protruding from their armor, we're gonna be applying Red Clamp Flesh Shade. Then I think uh, for the eye lenses. I think I'm gonna be applying Evisan Scarlet. Then for the and for the stick that he's holding here, for that we're gonna we're gonna be applying Mornfang Brown. Then for the main armor which they have, we're gonna be finally applying Seraphine Sepia to get that Death Guard look. Then I think to make it look a little bit more cream color, we're gonna be applying Pallid Witch Flesh on top of that. And then finally we're gonna be applying Nun Oil all over the models. So in a quick conclusion what we're gonna do for the next step is moot green on the cables that uh, surrounding their armor, right and flesh shade at, uh, for the bones protruding from the armor, Evesan Scarlet for their eye lenses, Mornfang Brown for the stick that the leader is holding, Seraphine Sephia on top of the armor, Palliative Witch Flesh on top of that, and then finally none oil all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, see you all in the last step one. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention, and also for certain areas where it's supposed to look like it's nurgling corrupted, and for that we're gonna be using Quella Green Shade. I forgot to put that in the second part. Nowadays I blame that my brain is fried from heat and stress. Sorry for that. Now, you, now we can continue. See you in the next step. See you around. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today is recorded on the 4th of August 2018. Let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. So if you followed my some 2018 summer painting guide you will have already seen previews of these. And personally I, 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 think, I, I think they turn out very good. Uh, perhaps uh, I could have wanted the more whitish color rather than this yellow brown color, but considering they're supposed to look corrupted, I think it's the right way to go. I'm just uh, hoping that um, the guy I'm doing this painting commission for will like them as well. But he's seen, so far he's seemed very forthgoing with my painting style, and I think. I think he's just happy to have them painted in a sort of working condition. But yeah, so this is gonna be a little bit shorter as always and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed following this painting process. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this painting guide. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments of things I'm doing good so I keep on doing them. And leave negative critique of things I'm doing bad so you improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But with that said, thank you very much for watching this part of the painting guide. See you around guys. Bye.